Welcome to Mother, Mother Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're at my house and we're right in front of my garage. We're going to show you three ways to instantly improve the curb appeal of your garage door. When I moved into my house, I always wanted to do something to update my garage door, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it. So one thing I don't like about the top of the door is there's these little windows with these inserts on, on the front of it that I don't like the look of. Well, I was at my sister-in-law's house a couple months ago and she didn't like the look of hers either. So we went outside, we took them off and it was really easy to do. So I want to do that at my house. And another thing I want to do is a lot of my neighbors have this nice hardware on their garage door that just that's nice little character that I like and want to add to my garage door. Well recently we were looking for hardware and we found a company that sells the hardware that we want to use but it uses magnets those are so there's no permanent installation you don't have to drill or anything like that and we have two different varieties we're going to try them both out and see which we like. But before all that we're just going to clean the garage door because that will add a nice uh, fresh new look to it just doing that so let's get started. I removed the window covers by just pulling them out. I was not going to reuse them so I had no problem with them breaking. Next we mixed some outdoor cleaner with water and started by simply spraying the garage to clean off some of the dirt. Then mom used the cleaning solution to scrub the door, then sprayed it again with clean water. Some water did get into the garage during this process, but it wasn't a huge deal. We just used a couple towels to clean it up and it was no big deal. We dried off the wet spots with microfiber cloths. Next we placed the first set of hardware. We tested out the middle handles to see where we liked them best. We decided that we liked them closer together. Next we swapped out the hardware for the second set. And as you can see, the garage door opens as normal and none of the hardware gets caught or falls off. What we learned. Well, I learned that whoever puts the water in the bucket ends up having to wash the garage. I had to man the camera. Is that your story? And I'm sticking to it. Okay. <laughs> We got actually two sets of this hardware because we weren't sure which one was going to look best in my garage. And I kind of thought I knew, but once we put both sets up, I really couldn't decide. So we need your help. Let us know which hardware you like the best and that's the one we'll keep on my garage. When we were working, we realized there's a couple of other projects we need to do. We went ahead and spray painted the flagpole holder and then in the future we need to paint the garage door and we need to do a little caulking. The big t biggest takeaway from this project is this hardware could not be easier. It's magnetic so it literally just magnetizes to the door and if we needed to move it we could if we need to take it off swap it out we can do that really easily so personally I can't even imagine what the traditional kind is like where you have to actually drill into the garage for me if I can use magnets over drilling I'll take it any day we well, you know we have that extra set of hardware so yeah. I think we should go to my house and you can scrub my garage and uh, maybe not today <laughs> for more projects like this make sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com Ta -da. what's gonna happen nothing that's gonna happen if I try to open it. Oh, oh, let me just put that right back. And Done. there we go. All lined up. Couldn't be easier. Could be easier if mom did it for me. Yeah, well, I did the hard part. Come on. <laughs> she did, the cleaning was the hard part. Yes. Okay, are we done? We are done. Okay. 